is I'm going to get half round half round pliers and bend it out and there's no science to this you just have to guess make sure what you do on one side you do the other side as well otherwise it will be uneven so that hasn't made much difference really 16.3 so we're going to bend this out and then the other side remember we always want to do <clears throat> the same to both sides Yeah, sixteen point six. As you can see, it's starting to become a bit uneven. So, I'm gonna get bigger pliers and just make that curve a bit more even. Seventeen, seventeen point five. So we just need to go up point five. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little. I'm going to put my metal in there, and it was. It's going to um, push it up to 18 mil. Okay, so now I've got my bit of metal that's exactly the same size. Well, just a little bit bigger than the actual ring. Now. We've got a diamond punch that is 17.3, which will be close enough for us to use. So what I'm doing is I'm going to bend this bit of metal round to roughly the same size as our ring. So what I'm going to do is tap this round. and I use a mallet because if I use a hammer it's going to dent the metal and we don't want that we want as less damage done to it as possible now I'm just going to tap the whole thing around completely just so I've got it all nice and even and there 
there's our there's our um, bit for the ring. Now I'm gonna just cut this first bit off because it's not 100% round. It's, it sort of curves round and then it goes straight. So I'm just kind of gonna cut that bit off. That blade's sticking a little bit, so I'm just going to lick the blade a little bit. And now uh, it's a lot smoother. Now, what you could have done was tap that round. So that would have been your bit to use in the ring, but I know that I'm going to use that for something else. So in an ideal world, you would have tapped that uh, more, more round. So now I'm just going to measure the inside of my gap, which is nearly 4.3. So we want it to be a little bit bigger anyway, so I'm going to do 4.4. All I'm doing is with my desium gauge, I'm just scoring it along my cut line so I know where, where to cut. See that score line? I'm just going to cut the other side of that line because it's easier to go it's easier for you to go over than it is to go under because if you go under then you're going to have to start again that's sticking again I'm just going to get a little, little lick Right now I'm just going to uh, fold this up so it's a bit straighter. I'm hardly taking anything off of this. There you go. It's slightly curved. Now we're going to put it in here. There we go. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some binding wire around this because when you heat the metal up it's going to move and the piece you've put in is going to move as well. So we want to keep it all in place. So I'm going to put some binding wire around it. This is my binding wire, it's just, um, I think this is aluminium or it might be steel, not sure, it hasn't got a label on it. I bought it years ago and there's loads of this on here and it lasts years. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to get our ring. And then just wrap this round. Just like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my, but right, I'm going to cut the excess off first.
just like that. And I'm just going to twist. So it gets it really nice and tight then. And there we go. Okay. So I've got my Borex, which is just like a flux. This is the one that I use, but uh, if you use something else and it works for you, then stick with it. Uh, if you don't, if you don't have anything at the moment, use Borex. I, I highly recommend it. Okay. So now I've got it on, got it on me old brush. Get a better brush than that because this is shockingly bad. Right. Now I've got spring tongs. I'm literally just going to hold it down here. Like that. Paint the borax all over. All over your join. Like that. Now turn your light off. Because um, you'll get to see the metal when it gets too hot. You'll see it; and it goes a really, really red colour. Okay. So now I'm going to warm this up. You want to do this really gently, and I'm using a blowtorch like that, and I put the other end in my mouth and blow. Like that. If you've got another blowtorch that works for you, um, carry on with it. Alright, now I'm just going to put the solder in place. I'm going to dip it in my borax. So when I put it down, it bubbles a little bit, but it will stick in place where I want it to stay for it to uh, run. Right, now I'm going to flood the solder. There we go. Make sure uh, when you solder it, it flows all the way to the other side. I'll just turn my gas off. <clears throat> That's why I heat this side and put the solder in the inside. So when I'm heating up from down here, the heat pulls the solder into the joins. So it runs all the way through. Now I'm just going to pop this in the pickle. If you don't know what a pickle is, check out my um, acid stroke pickle uh, making video.